Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. My name is Vail Dog, and this is my kitchen, where I'll be bringing you affordable restaurant quality foods, or better, from my home to yours. And if you guys are new here, consider subscribing to the channel, and please hit that bell to be notified when I upload you another delicious recipe. Okay? So let's get cooking. Okay guys, I'm back. As you can see on the chopping block, we're going to be making you the best McDonald's steak and eggs bagel at home. Okay? So I'm, on, I'm going to be making two of these today. So you're going to need four slices of cheese. One on the top and one on the bottom. You're going to need two eggs. One per sandwich. You're going to need two of these sirloin steaks. Right here, it comes with four in a package of these. These are what I normally use to make my Philly steaks. You're going to need some bagels. These are five of them. This is plain bagels. Okay. I think this was about six, um, six fifty or something like that. And this was like a dollar and fifty. The mayonnaise was probably like one eighty. Um, well, you already know. I buy my pepper and bolts and stuff like that. But you can get this um, pink sea salt, not this particular brand. This is like a $6.99 Hungarian pink sea salt. But you can go to a Dollar Tree and get that for a dollar in a bag, a big one. And that, that's why I refilled this up with. So I saved me, well, how much? I saved me a lot of money. You can believe that. <laughs> At least like a dollar, I mean $5. So anyway, uh, you're going to need some butter. You can use the stick butter or whatever kind of butter you want to use. That's the mayo. You already told you about that. You're going to need an onion. All right? And we're going to go ahead and jump into all this. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I am back. All I did was slice these up. Well, cut them in half. They already pre-sliced, but sometimes they kind of look, they look tough a little bit anyway. So anyway, that's all I did. Slice that up. And, um... Took me a little mail, just like a tablespoon of mail, and I just unfolded my cheese and I cut my onion up. These are uh, one per uh, steak. Here's my eggs, my two eggs, right here. I'm not going to salt or pepper them. Okay, I'm just going to stir these up real good. Don't put no egg, no um, milk or nothing like that, in, unless you want to now. really quick and simple and you can um, also put them in like a little ziplock sandwich bag and store them up for the whole week so when you want to go to work or just wake up in the morning and eat you one or get your kid one before they go to um, school simple you get four in a box and you get five of the bagels Onions don't cost that much and that cheese don't cost that much. Now I'm only using this cheese for the uh, restaurant purpose, McDonald purposes only. Okay, that's American sliced cheese. Now I have um, provolone and I have um, cheddar cheese and stuff like that and Swiss cheese. Now that's how I get down with mine. I'm just doing this one. Just showing you guys that you can make this at home. Okay. So we're going to do our bread first. All we're going to do is take our butter, spray that down, just like so. See that? Put a little bit on this side. That's all we're doing. And I just put that on, on that so they can soak in together. And I'm gonna take you over there, and um, we're gonna after we do this, we're gonna go ahead and get started with them eggs. All right, see you over there in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Just gonna go ahead and toast these up. This is on medium, medium low. So I actually got it in between the um, the two and the three. 
this is an electric stove so notice anytime I'm cooking in here period um, it's gonna be my electric stove all right so uh, what's this stuff look like some I don't know what it is. I don't like my stuff to look regular. So what I like to do, for commercial purposes, take a little butter, make it look pretty, just like that. This should cook no longer than probably um, on that setting. It probably take about two or three minutes. So we're gonna turn that baby up a little bit on like three. So I want this to get soft too. I'm gonna break down in the bagel and it's hard. So that's why we cook it low. So about three minutes, uh, we'll go ahead and check on that in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. Let's check on that. See how soft it gotten? That's how you want it. See that? Let's check how it looks. Perfect. That's why you want to cook it low. I'm trying to tell you, low and slow is the best way to go all the time. Remember that. You go too fast and all that extra stuff, you're going to mess up and it ain't going to turn out that great for you. All right, we're going to start with our eggs. All right, next up is the eggs. I'm going to put a little olive oil in this because I want my eggs to burn. And I'm going to turn it down some. So it's like a tablespoon and a half. We're going to turn it down. And trust me, if I can do this, guys, you guys can do it. Trust me when I tell you. I'm not no professional cooking, nothing like that. I just enjoy cooking. You got to make it cooking quick. You want to take it off the um, eye. Take your spatula, move it up, let the stuff uh, ease down, the yolk or whatever. Do the same side, same way on this side. See that? That's all they do. Here's their little trick that they do. They take the eggs and they fold it just like this. That's how they do. See that? That's all they simply do. And the eggs are done. So I'm going to take this Cut it in half because I got two sandwiches. Nothing hard. Nothing hard at all. Don't let don't let nobody fool you. <laughs> like they doing something great. They ain't doing nothing hard at all at McDonald's. I worked in, I worked there too. <laughs> so we'll take this and just sit it on the plate for now. Then we we'll go in with our steaks. Take a steak. Turn it back up to medium now. You're going to have to cook these frozen too, I'm telling you now. Because if you don't, they're going to break apart on you. Okay? So we just going to let that cook for like three minutes on each side. And we're done with that. Alright? When I turn that over, I'm going to go ahead and chop the onions up and put that in there. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. See what it's doing. Don't forget the salt and pepper. 
the side. See how, how it break apart real quickly? So you want to kind of cook them a little bit hard. Take a little bit more salt and pepper lightly. This is dusting. Like that. Okay. Take your onions. Throw those in there. Don't do too much to them because you don't want to break up that meat. So they're going to be the last thing to come out pretty much. So we're just going to saute them up. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and let that cook up. I'm going to take you over to the uh, table to assemble this, um, this sandwich. See you guys in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. All we're going to do here is take us a little meal. Yes, I'm using a spoon. Take us a little meal. Put it around here. You can use as much as you want. I'm going to put a lot on mine. This is all they do, y'all. Y'all thought this was going to be hard, didn't you? Now, of course, we need cheese, though. I'm going to take up some cheese. Put that cheese on there. Just like that. Of course we have cheese at the bottom. So we're going to put some more cheese on there. Like that. And like that. Alright. Got our egg. Put our egg on there. Put it on there or whatever. Just like that. Check on my steak. Put the steak on there. See how the onions coming? Got some onions. And they're going to give you a lot of onions, I'm going to tell you that now. <laughs> Mickey D's. A.K.A. Mickey D's. Or should I say McDonald's. This part looks like it's falling off. I told you that meat. You gotta fry it tight. Okay. I'm gonna take our top part, put it on there. Like that. And there you have it. Right there. There you go, your Mickey D's. All day, every day. In Veil Dolls Kitchen. And I'm going to be doing some more videos like this in the future. Showing you how to recreate their food at home. So you won't have to go out and buy it all the time. I ain't saying don't buy it. I'm just saying all the time. 
So guys, please like this video. Please share it. Please comment. Let me know what you guys want to see me make next. In the kitchen. Where I'll be bringing you restaurant quality foods or better. From my home to yours. Guys, let's get cooking.